Hello, Purple Rose here, and I'm on the public test server with the Waking Flame Dungeon DLC. And there is some new furniture items. And according to the patch notes, it says a new set of 21 Leowin structural furnishing recipes are now available from Leowin reward coffers, which can be obtained by completing World Boss or Delve Boss Daily Quest in Blackwood. That's good. But this is what has me really excited. These include a variety of walls and platforms, as well as several doors, a wooden stairway, and other structural elements. I have waited so long for a wooden stairway, so it will be great to see what that looks like. Anyway, let's just get into this. And first up, I saw the plant white flowered lily pads. So these would look great across water, but really anywhere. They do look cool. We've got two new shrubs. There's a shrub low green leaf cluster, and the bush snow lily. Both of these, I think I like the green leaf cluster more because it's bigger, but I do like the snow lilies as well, because they're a big white flower. We've got some rocks, we got the rock gabbro boulder, gabbro boulder cluster, I do like that one. Big cluster of rocks. The Gabbro set. Uh, the white Gabbro slab. Well, that one's alright. And that's all for the rocks. There's three trees. Got the Blackwood Beach. A uh, beach cluster. It's just a smaller growing trees there. The third one is the Elder Blackwood Beach. There's nothing special about these trees, but the trees. So we got two vines, we got the Snow Lily Climber. Oh, I really like that one. And the Snow Lily Swath. I really like both of those. I mean, vines already make buildings and walls look good, but with the snow lilies on them, it would be interesting to see those in people's builds. So, we do have some fountains. We got the Leowen Fountain Corner with water coming out of it, so... You could set up four of these, like have this one, one there, one there, and one there. And I don't know, put something decorative in the middle and make a good looking fountain on your own, that way. We got the fountain round. Maybe you could put that in the middle of your four that you got. Just sink it down a bit. And it'll look cool. So yeah, you can have it active or inactive. This one has no mode, so the water's coming out constantly. I do like that one. We got the round grand fountain. That's really round and really grand. I'll just show you it because it's huge. Huge fountain, but it's cool. I'll just get a better look at the top. Yeah, I like that fountain. And yeah, if you don't want to use the water, you just have it as a platform. But that one's cool. So there was also the fountain tall. 
can have it active or inactive. So yeah, that's just what that one has in the center. I like that. We got a new statue, the Saint Caldas. So he's got a mace in that hand. I'm not sure what he's holding though. But that's a cool statue. There's been other statues I've seen throughout Blackwood that look really cool, so hopefully they give those to us in the future. Okay, next up there's the Vampiric Candlestick. Saw this and I'm like, is it new? But it does say it's new, so it must be. Because <laughs> I don't remember seeing this before. But yeah, it's alright, I guess. I do like the weird pattern on it. Next up there's the Vampiric Lamp Azure Triple. Kind of like the other one, just that it's a more blue colour. Could add some real mood lighting to your rooms. <laughs> Got the Vampiric Lamp Azure Tall. Vampiric Light Post Azure Double. And the single. Yeah, I like the blue glow on those ones. Got the Vampiric Sconce Azua. Just like the amber one, but different colours. There's a new effect, it's called the Steam of Repose. I'll just get that to show you its radius. So yeah, you could really make your areas look moody. It is night time so it's a bit hard to see but you can kind of see the radius that it has. This steam of repose. So that one's alright. A new effect is always good. <laughs> okay, on to the structures, which is what this video is all about. So we got the Alcove Castle. I'll just show you how big all these are. Just so you can get an idea of scale. So that's the Alcove. Pretty big. Got the Leowen Column Castle. Should be pretty big too. Just place that down. A nice size. You could make like a big uh, throne room or cathedral or something with that. Got the Leowen Hearth Masonry. Don't think that was new. Because it looks like the Solitude one, or at least it's similar. But yeah, maybe that is new. It is similar to the Solitude one though. <laughs> Got the Leowen Platform Narrow Steps. So they're not very long. But they are big. So if you want to make a full-blown staircase going up you'd be able to and I saw these wider ones Leywood platform wide steps so basically the same they're just wider I'll put it up here like so but yeah make your stairway up to the castle entrance or something Got the Leowen Post Stone Garden. So that's just like garden post. 
could have it going either way actually so have it like in have like a fenced off area and turning it upside down I think it's similar but gives you options then we've got the wooden stairs oh they're perfect but I can already see a problem because of the wooden posts I'll show you what I mean by that so placing them down go over here so yeah placing them down like so is fine but if you want to build up some more that's where I see the problem because you'll have those floating Let's try and match it up. Not perfect, but it'll do. So yeah, I can already see a problem floating posts there if you want to build up. That's going to be a problem. I don't know how you'd get around that. Maybe getting third one placing it upside down now that won't work either yeah I don't know how you're gonna gonna fix that maybe get different posts just to continue it on or something but still wooden stairs I've been waiting forever for these but yeah, they'd be better without the posts on there. Especially if you want to build a decades higher up. But still, they're great. Love those wooden stairs. Okay, we got a layer wall curved garden. So yeah, that would fit well with the garden post. But... Yeah, this wall's pretty high as well, so you could probably use that as just a normal wall if you wanted to. And yeah, just build up. Okay, we got the wall straight garden. This one looks real small though. Still, it's a wall. <laughs> okay, we got the wall Wayne got it that's cool I'll just show you how big that is because it does look huge so yeah you'd need two of these so you put one there that's really cool yeah you continue on with the look I can see two ways of doing this Continue like that, just have posts in all the middles. Or if you want to try, you can match it up like that. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. But yeah, that's really cool. They're finally giving us interesting walls like that. Be able to make a grand mansion like they have in Leowin. I do like those walls. So we got the windowed castle wall, and it's windows on the outside. Shame there's not one on that side as well. And that's a really big wall. But yeah, it's a shame that that's only on one side. Like, when a window is involved, you expect it to be on the other side. But still, cool big castle wall. Good to use either side. But yeah, the window should be on both sides. Got the wooden wall half. 
So if you didn't want a full wall in a room, or as like banister around a staircase, you could use these. So they're really cool. Even if you don't use it as like a room divider, just have something decorative. And I can even see like putting it that way. Like between walls somehow. If you don't use uh, those wainscotted ones. Be creative. <laughs> So yeah, the staircase is really good, just the downside. I get why they did that because otherwise it's like they're just floating stairs, but we the players could have worked that out. Because if you want to build up, it just looks weird having those floating posts. But I'm sure we'll find a way around that. <laughs> There's also a Lewin turret. Castle, oh, wow. That is uh, huge. You can kind of see it. Again, I apologize, it is night time, but can't control the in game day night cycle. But yeah, that's a cool turret for a castle. It even has a roof. And yeah, you can even. Put it upside down if you want. But yeah, it has a window. It's cool, I like it. <laughs> Just place it down like that. I like that turret. Then we got the Lewin Archway Garden. This one looks really cool and nice and big for an archway. So yeah, that'll work. Really, not just in a garden, but you could use it as a doorway in a castle build you might be doing, or a house or something. Got the Lewin Door Castle. So closed and open. I'll just see how big that is. So you could kind of fit that in there, but that is a nice big doorway. Okay, then we got Lewin Door Wooden, kind of like the Solitude one. The Lewin Doorway Wooden Frame, that is cool. That would fit the doorway in nicely. Let's just match it up and see. Oh yeah, that would fit. It's perfect. But the doorways are huge. Like, who needs a doorway that big? But that's great. <laughs> I like that. Okay, there was a Lewin Gate Wooden Garden. The castle door arch. Oh, so they made a doorway for the castle door. That's amazing. And that should fit perfectly in there. Yeah. It is floating, but you get the idea. That is great. I love that so much because I was worried how would we build to fit that door. We don't need to. It's already done for us. That's great. We got two new platforms, the Lewin Platform Huge Square and the Lewin Platform Large Square. So we'll just look at the huge one. Do it over the water. So yeah, you've got this side. 
looks alright and upside down. Can you stand on it? Yes. So upside down is more of a stone look. Whereas this side's more polished. I do like that. Both of those. That one's just a smaller version of it. Either way, I like both of them. So we got some new remains. We got the vampiric container yellow liquid. Not sure what would be in that. <laughs> got the vampiric lab jar. Lab jar red. Doesn't really look like blood, but I know they say vampiric, but they'd be cool in an alchemy lab or some type of lab you do. We got the vampiric lab jar small. All of those are cool. <laughs> so we got some new tools. We got the vampiric alchemy rack tubes. That's perfect for an alchemy lab. Okay, vampiric container congealed liquid. That's got to be blood. And the flask stand double. So that's all the new furniture items. Do let me know what you think of them in the comments below. I myself would like them, especially that big castle door, the turret, the walls over there, the wooden stairs I've waited so long for. I'm glad they're here. Because I can replace the makeshift wooden stairs I've made of my builds with these. They'll fit perfectly. So yeah. They're all great. I do like the fountains as well. But yeah. I'm going to end this one here. And I'll see you around. Thanks for watching. <laughs>